All right, guys. Thanks for coming back for the fourth and final episode of Building a Flag Box. I uh, appreciate you coming back to the shop today, uh, joining me here for the fun that we're having. Uh, today we're going to be getting everything wrapped up. We're going to be getting the plexiglass cut, the back panel cut and glued in. Uh, and then after that's glued, we're going to get everything cleaned up, uh, final sanding uh, on the flag box. And then I'm going to be uh, using some spray lacquer uh, to get it all uh, sealed up and looking sharp. So why don't you guys stick around? Might enjoy what you're seeing. Alright guys, I got this leftover piece of uh, plexiglass that I'm going to be using uh, for the see-through panel for the front of this display case. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get this put in here so I can mark it and get it cut. Okay, now that I got it put in there, I am going to mark the ends here where it comes out of the box. And then I'm going to move the box. And now I'm going to set up my uh, Dremel vibratory tool to cut this off. I cleaned up the sharp edges of this with a piece of sandpaper just to get the uh, spots that the vibratory tool had melted on it. I'm going to take this, lay it on my piece of oak plywood, and because this is an exact duplicate of the back side of the flag box, uh, this will work out perfect for measurements. Okay, line is drawn. I'm going to set up the circular saw. Alright guys, earlier today I have uh, cut the piece of plexiglass and the piece of uh, oak paneling for the flag case. Now I've got the piece of oak paneling uh, glued in and clamped in, it's been uh, drying for a while now, so that's ready to be unclamped. Uh, and then I'm going to start putting together the flag box here. Uh, i got to mark the holes and stuff on the base where I need to drill it, so I'm going to get going on that. You guys can stick around and watch. Looks like I'm going to have a little bit of sanding to do where the glue uh, squeezed out and, and dried. So I'm going to have to sand this first before I can do too much more. I'm going to get these holes marked and then get to sanding. All right, what I did here is I drew a line on the inside to see where the inside falls. Out here is where the outside of the angle comes down. So I'm going to put uh, three holes in this. Uh, I'm going to drill them with a drill press, and on the back side where they come out, I'm going to countersink them so the screws are recessed in so they don't have a uh, rough surface to uh, be setting on. So I'm going to get to doing that. All right, now I'm going to be drilling the board from the top side down through it. So i got to drill the top side first up here. And then where it comes through the bottom, I'll be using a countersink bit to clean that up.
All right, guys. Now that I got these all these all done, I'm gonna put these in a safe place to dry while I go and get ready to start doing the spray lacquer on the uh, rest of the body of the flag case. The whole thing turned upside down. I have the base set on top of the top uh, in the spot that I want it. So these are the screws I'm going to be using. They're one inch screws and I've been trying to find a bit that will allow the screw to slide in but still have some bite and I think I finally got one. So I'm going to be using a cordless drill with this bit and drilling those holes now. So as I put the bit in I'm measuring how long these screws are so it's going to go through. And I don't want it any longer than the screw. So that, that right there is how long I want it. Maximum. And because I have it recessed just a little bit, I'm going to recess that just a little bit as well. Ready to go. in loosely so that I don't have any problems with it moving around as I keep going. Right, double check, make sure everything's where I want it still. Still looking good. in place, I can go ahead and drill the rest of the holes without putting the screws in. One more check, make sure it's still where I want it. Feels good. And away we go. Okay. There we have it. The construction portion of this is done. Now I'm going to take this back apart and uh, clean it off one more time and I'm going to go and start uh, using a clear spray lacquer on it. Alright, I got everything sanded down, I got everything wiped down. 
I got the parts laid out behind me. Now I'm getting ready to do the spray lacquer. I wanted to take a minute just to do a little safety check here. The spray lacquer I'm using, I got from Lowe's. This spray lacquer, it says right on the can that it is known to cause cancer by the state of California. Now why New York State doesn't happen to know that, I don't know. But if it happens to cause cancer in the state of California, I'm going to uh, take some preventative measures. I'm not going to be breathing this stuff in. I went to Harbor Freight and I got myself a respirator mask. It's not the greatest, but with this on, I cannot smell the fumes from the uh, spray lacquer at all. I've already tried it just to make sure it's going to work the way I need it to. So I'm going to get my mask put on and get this sprayed. Look at the colors in this. The colors just really came out nice. I'm gonna keep going. You guys can watch. I've gone as far as I can go for right now. I'll have to let this lacquer dry. The, uh, the can says that it's dry to handle in 30 minutes and to apply two thin coats, recoat any time. So I'm going to take a little break, let this dry, step out of the fumes here. Uh, I'll tell you, the colors on this black walnut and the white oak, they really came out. It's better than even I expected it to be. I'll see you guys shortly. Alright guys, thanks for joining me for this four part episode uh, of building a flag box. Uh, after Christmas, after I give my mother the flag box, I'm going to post a video of the finished product, what everything looks like, uh, and then I'll also make that the thumbnail for each of these videos uh, so you can see it. But I'm going to wait for the finished product until the 25th, it's only five days away, I'm sure you guys can wait to see it. But anyway, if you like this video, click like for me, and give me some ideas of some other stuff you'd like to see me do. Have a good day.